It is beyond easy to make a personalized monogram in Kittle to use for things like weddings or invitations or backpacks, whatever you're gonna put a monogram on. It is super easy to do in Kittle and we're gonna look at exactly how to make one. And if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up using the link down in the description because you don't wanna miss out on this as well as the potential for making customized templates that you could sell on print on demand in addition. So go ahead and sign up if you don't have Kittle and let's get started. Started. So before we get started with the custom monogram, I wanted to show you a couple of the monogram fonts that we have. Like this one right here, we have a circle letter mark. And all we need to do is delete this and type any letter. And you will see that we have a monoline style letter mark with a circle around it. So this is already done. It's already in Kittle. We also have this floral letter mark over here. I'll show you the same thing. Boom delete, hit A, delete, hit B, whatever you wanna do, you can already have a letter mark with some of these monogram style fonts that we have preloaded into Kittle to get some really, really cool custom monograms. We also have a little bit more interesting ones like this line mark sans right here that's even a variable font so we can increase the weight or decrease the weight. So if I take it to the left or if I take it to the right, you can see it gets thinner or thicker. So you see here all the way to the right, it's super, super thick. And of course, you can click in, change the letter, do whatever you need to do. Now we also have our own monogram style font where you can type two letters and it will change depending on the two letters to make a perfect monogram so here I'm gonna type R and W and so now you can see there's the R and W or if I do F and L any combination whatever you need to do now let's go ahead and make our own a little bit more interesting a little bit more custom again we're gonna go with just one letter and what I'm gonna do is put some effects on this vintage style font so we have this letter D and what I'm gonna do is put on the 3d shadow and then I can adjust and change colors here to make something really cool and really specific to me so what I'm gonna do is go through change a couple of the colors make sure that the angles are exactly how I want because again if I put this on a cup or if I put this on a sticker or if I put this maybe on like a little uh, little lanyard or something for my keys or something I want to make sure that everything is exactly how I want it in terms of shape in terms of angle so let's go ahead and put some decoration on here I'm gonna use these oblique lines right here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find some ornaments that complement this letter and so you want to make sure you're using complementary elements you're not going to want to use super super thin elements with this thick vintage style so for example we could use something like this let me make sure I change the color here and we could use something like this but you see how it's a little bit too thin it gets a little bit lost in the background but we want to try to find a couple of more thick style ornate lines and flourishes and things like this we have a category called bold flourishes that you can see right here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through and i'm going to add these just quickly you can see here and you can play with this for a long time to get this exactly how you want it and so once i get all of these placed here exactly how i want them what i can do is i can just select them all and i can go and i can make sure i change the colors to be the same now i want them all in the back so you can right click and send them to the back and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them that same dark color. Now, some of them have two colors, so we need to go change that. So, boom. Now, we can make these all the same color. We're going to make it that kind of dark purplish blue here. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this personalized monogram tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and the red subscribe button. And then let me know in the comments, what are you planning to use this monogram for? Is it something specific to yourself? Or maybe you make wedding invitations and invites and things like that, and you're gonna use it for that. Let me know what you plan to do with the monogram down in the comments, and let's get back to the tutorial. And once I get these all squared away, then what we can do is switch over to our next one. And what we're gonna do is go for a little bit of a different style here. So we have a nice serif style D here. And I'm just gonna show you how you can get a couple of different monogram styles, a couple different custom letter styles for maybe selling products on Etsy or even elsewhere, other print on demand sites and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase this offset right here 
because we're going for a little bit of a different style. We went for a harder vintage style in the previous example. For this one, we're going to go a little bit more modern. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to find some illustrations, some florals that play really nicely with this D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some florals that can go inside the letter D. Okay, I think that would be really cool, a very interesting type of monogram. And so what I need to do is find florals that are going to fit the shape. So for example, you see how this one curves. I think that's going to fit this curve of the D here. Now I'm going to make sure I'm using flowers right here in this category, meadow flowers. I'm just making sure I'm using flowers that are in the same style. Okay. If you start to try and mix and match different styles, it may look a little bit, not exactly how you want it. Now I've got some over here on the right that I already pre-selected. And so what I'm going to do is just going to fill in this layout, fill in this D and it makes a really cool, interesting monogram style right here. All right. So there is our completed letter D with the florals all inside. Again, just taking your time to make sure that it completes the shape exactly right. You can get some really, really, really cool effects here. Now, what you can do is make sure that they're cohesive by selecting a preset color palette. Now, all of those colors in there on that letter D were all kind of different colors, right? Because we selected uh, different colors from the illustrations panel, then the letter D was a certain color. But what we can do is go over here and just find one that we like. And when we hit it, boom, it selects it just like that. Now, let's go ahead and do one more monogram style. So here we have a, a little bit of a different serif letter D here. Now, hopefully what you're seeing in this tutorial is just how different of a vibe you can get with different fonts and using different styles. So this is a little bit more of that classic elegant serif, that vintage serif. So what I'm going to go with is some vintage birds. I think that would be really cool. Of course, we have so many other vintage illustrations. We have vintage florals. We have vintage people. We have vintage uh, cars. We have vintage everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy up here on the top. I'm going to make him look like he's perched. Now, hopefully what you're doing is getting ideas for how you can come up with different monogram layouts and things that you might want to sell or show that you can sell on things like Etsy. Maybe it's custom uh, custom monograms and things like that. So what we're going to do is just add a couple of other florals. I'm going to make sure that these all kind of make sense with the composition here, either coming in or out of the letters. Of course, you can hit right click and send to front, send to back uh, to make sure that these are all doing what they need to do. I'm going to make this guy go the other way, which by the way, you can hit right click and you can flip objects to make sure that they go the opposite way. Now I'm going to send this to the back and boom, you can see it's kind of coming out of the back of the D. So I'm just going to go through quickly and add a couple of more birds here to where I think they make sense, as well as a couple of the vintage florals, which I already mentioned a little bit earlier. And what we're going to do is make sure we have just a nice composition. And here are some of the finished monograms you can see here completely done in Kittle just by using one letter along with a couple of our illustrations. So hopefully you've got some great ideas for what you can do with this. And I hope you have a ton of fun making your personalized monograms. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.